Hey, what is up everybody? I am Chip here, and I'm Duffy Duck here, we're from the Maxi Toys, and welcome to our remake playthrough of, if you couldn't tell from the title, and also that was Sonic Says already mentioned this in um, yesterday's video. Today, we're going to be doing a remake playthrough on Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. The one that had only started it all with the Olympic Games series for Mario and Sonic joined, um, joined like, combined into one game. So, um, but for we'll do, let's watch this intro first. Yep, this uh, Olympic Games is going to be takes place in during China during that uh, Beijing 2008. So yes, as far as when this Wii version of Mario and Sonic in the Olympic Games, this version did came out in 2007, and then this game was also being released on the Nintendo DS, which was on the um, which was released during that uh, 2008. So um, yeah, for the actual Olympics during that uh, Beijing 2008. So, um, yeah, we got empty, um, files right there, it's probably it's because we got ourselves the file, um, corruption going on, or something like that. Or maybe we somehow accidentally delete them all, the files, so... I guess that was, uh, my fault for that guy, so, um... Yeah, the reason why we decided to do it, go ahead and say we're gonna be doing the remade version of this playthrough is that, um... Well, recently, that you remember how yesterday we've now finally obtained Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games on the Wii U, which was released about, like, um, three days ago, actually. So, um, for we have um, played it, it's really not that bad, actually, even though the motion controls on that game is completely removed this time around. But, um, the other toys will explain that as soon as well they actually get into it, so, um, yeah, let's type in into our names, Duffy and Chip, which was my name and Chip's name right here. And of course, we lived in Great Britain just because, well, you figured that you might as well figure out the title. So, um, yeah, this is how the, um, the actual playthrough of Mario and Sonic in Olympic Games as far as we can consider it. That, uh, we might actually go ahead and say now that we might actually do a double uploader for each day just because we just want to actually get into Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games because after all that the Rio 2016 Olympic Games will be on its way so that we can actually figure we can just do that. Yeah, as a matter of fact though, 
that the majority of the mode we're going to be run into in this game's playthrough, it will be circuit mode, which basically, that it almost exactly feels very similar to the Grand Prix mode in the, um, during the Mario Kart games. Like, uh, we'll explain to that when we actually jump into it, so, um, even then, though, that's, um, well, you know. So, um, let's get started right here while we'll actually jump into circuit mode, because even then, this was the actual main campaign of our playthrough on this game. So, um, oh yeah, if you wait for this thing well, long enough, that the character will actually do a circuit little waiting mode. pose. So, um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. So, um, well off the bat though, we actually get ourselves two different classes we can actually select. One which was beginner's class, and the other free class. But, um, from the get-go, we actually got ourselves beginner's class from the start. So, um, well off the bat though, as you can tell, that's, um, well, obviously the fact that, um, we got ourselves four different circuits we can actually select from. I believe those um, circuits were actually based off of the um, some planets and also some universe or galaxy or universe type of cups. Well, first of all, here's Mercenary Cup, Venus Cup, and Jupiter Circuit, and Saturn Circuit, which is based off of the planets. Shame, there's no um, Earth Circuit around here. So anyways, the first time circuit we're hit into is Mercury Circuit, which contains 100 meters, long jump, and hammer throw. So I'm assuming that the beginner's class is only going to feature three different events. So, um, yeah, that's far as we can just tell from that. And since this is the first game in the series, that this game actually got a grand total of 16 playable characters, uh, ranging from power types to all-around characters, which are basically standard, speed types, and skill types. So, right off the bat though, you actually get every single character from the start, like, you get like, 8 different, um, characters from each different franchise. Like, 8 from the Mario series, and 8 from the Sonic series. Until and eventually in the Olympic Winter Games in Vancouver 2010, that they actually add in two new ones from each different franchise, like two new from the Mario, and two new ones from the Sonic universe. So anyway though, in case if you probably already noticed that already. So the first circuit we're going to be um, using at the moment is Mario, the uh, definitive video game character. So, usually that he always been on Nintendo, and god, he's been everywhere across the world. So, um, yeah, if you start the events up, you can actually just use two different methods of the control schemes. Like, for instance, we can actually use the in 100 meter race, we can either use the control schemes for the, um, the Wii Remote on its own, or you can use the recommendation by just using the Wii Remote and Nongsha combined. So, um... Basically, that, um, that's how this uh, 100 meter dash works. Basically, in order to start the event up, that you must able to actually hold down the B button. And as soon as it actually gets to, like, when it says go, then it's your time to actually flick the Wiimote downward. So that um, you can actually just get yourself a boost. So, um, yeah, every time when you go into each circuit, that you actually get yourself a special token. Me this means is that it actually gives you double amount of points. So, um... If you're trying to actually try to use that, you can just select accept challenge, but if you want to save that, you should just probably say, like, don't accept challenge. So, uh, yeah, so here we go with the first event, which was 100 meter dash, and we have lane 4, Mario. On your marks. Yep, the only main character in the Mario universe. Get set. Okay, let's get this started. Oh god, this hurts my arms for a bit. Yeah, sometimes that, um, yeah, sometimes that, uh, you know, some, this game is heavily influenced off, um, your arms are workout type of syndrome, so, um, that's far as I considered. Oh wow, we got the first world record of our playthrough so far. Yeah, it's kind of amusing. But yeah, once you use this little special token, this will actually gives you, again, this, uh, double amount of scores. Originally, when you go to go first, then, um, you get yourselves 10 points. It's basically a Mario Kart point system when it actually handles. If you're in first place, you get 10 points, and then 8 points for second place, and I'm presuming 6th is the, um, third? So, um, but again, if you use the, one of these special, um, double points tokens, you can actually, um, rank those points up a bit, so, um, yeah. 
And right off the bat, we actually go ourselves the emblems, which actually requires us to actually beat, like, um, if you beat the world record, you get two emblems in a row from the start, like the world record and the Olympic record, which is kind of a, well, a cool trick to that. And, um, as well as if you actually get ourselves a rocket start in a 100 meter dash, you get ourselves a rocket emblem, which if you actually pull ourselves the, um, the start dash from the early one, so... However, there's also another emblem, which was basically a vowel apple, um, emblem, which basically you need to get a vowel from... At least valve just once in 100 meter dash, but it doesn't work on any events at all. So anyway, though, onwards to long jump, where basically we have to acquire the Wii Remote and Nunchuck simultaneously, or in this case, all together. So, uh, right off the bat that uh, we only got about three tries to do this event, so that, um, oh yeah, whilst you're in there, that you can actually, uh, it's completely optional, you can just usually just clap at any other employees out there. So, um, sometimes though, the long jump, in my opinion, isn't the most greatest event, just because it's all about accurate accuracy for when it comes to actually just slightly flick the Wiimote upward. Sometimes you might actually think that your uh, flicking was actually pretty good, a lot of times, though, it's really, really, really horrendous. Sometimes it always happens in my book and, um, and when I play this game by myself. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of how the long jump actually functions, as well as the ones in the, um, the equivalents to that one, which was known as triple jump. And yeah, other times, though, you might actually accidentally get fouls, like you can't really see the green line, which is always kind of amusing, kind of think about it. So, um, yeah, apart from those sorts of things, Go. that we're pretty much in 8th. Let's see if we can actually be in the lead, so that we can catch up to our scores. <gasps> oh, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, not the best though, but it's still good. But yeah, as I said earlier, this game was actually the first installment of the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic game series. That's, um, even though, though, that, um, some of the elements, well, it's mostly heavily um, based on motion controls type of feeling. So um, even then, though, it, after when you do like a running events and something like that, that uh, your arms will actually get tiring after once in a while. But hey, at least I don't mind about it too much about it. But anyway, last event in Mercenary Circuit or Mercury Circuit is Hammer Throw, and in this event, we're only going to be using just the Wii Mode on its own. And how do we know that? Well, we can't just use um, the Nunk Shark and the Wii Remote at the same time, just because it won't work. So, um, basically it's summed up like this, like, uh, all you have to do is just hold down the A button and then just, uh, twist the Wii Remote, and then if you come towards, nearly towards the edge of the, uh, the Hammer Throw technique, then you can basically just, uh, press the B button at the right time. And just like the ones in the uh, long jump, that we only have like three attempts to do this, and then if you do it's like all three of the attempts, well, it's pretty much over, so yeah. Ooh, that was a nice one actually. Yeah, nice uh, beginning part. And we got about 83 points, uh, 0, 83 meters, which is actually pretty good. Second try. So, um... Yeah, with that being said though, the recent Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games um, game right now, which was released just recently, that um, so far for Metacritic, that it was actually got a pretty good mix of reviews. Like, some of them think that it was actually pretty good, and then the other, which was consist of it's a mixed bag, and then one of them is considerably bad, or negative. But honestly, I just found this a really, really fun game. I'm glad that it is not involving the, um, the... You know how the Sushi 2014 Olympic Winter Games? That, um, Sushi 2014 is definitely is my least favorite of them, just because the motion controls was so finicky sometimes. And that's the reason why the Rio 2016 Olympic Games on the Wii U did remove that uh, motion control system, so... But instead, it's just basically just the button presses and such. So, um, yeah, the first set of, um, oh, we got the Olympic record, that's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, the first set of few circuits in this game is actually pretty easy at first, because these computer opponents have no one else to be part of a challenge. So, um, yeah, look at that Mario just swinging this hammer throw right here. It's pretty cool. 
So, um, and we come to the award ceremony of the Mercury Circuit. Wario, who's consist of third place. Daisy's in second place. And Mario claims the trophy. And he's in number one. So, yeah. So, um, we'll explain more into those types of things on them when we get into the next video because next video we're going to be hit off to the next circuit we're about to be hit into is Venus Circuit, which even then though, we're actually going to be picking those different characters every time when we go into a circuit mode so that we can actually do it with it that way. So, um, yeah, join us next time. Yeah, see you guys then. Or in this case, see you later.